Hey everybody, welcome back to the next layout in my Aussie Traveler's Notebook. So the next layout was kind of like a no-brainer. I love this Outback Life uh, element that I cut out with my Cameo. There is a 12 by 12 page from the November kit from Antivira Scrap and Craft that has all these little Aussie icons and you can fussy cut them yourself but I actually just sent it through my cameo and got the silhouette to cut it out for me so it was nice and simple. I am attaching the feather that I picked up on my walk and I'm also attaching a kookaburra which came in the open road embellishment kit which I also picked up to accentuate the papers from this kit. I know that the feather that I picked up is a black and white feather which is most likely from a magpie versus the picture that I've got there is obviously a kookaburra. Kookaburra's feathers will never be this color. I have never come across kookaburra feathers so obviously they're not um, very common in my area. I have seen one I think. Um, they're more common around Kings Park which, which is near the city here in WA. But anyway, so that left hand side is pretty much done. I love how it looks. It kind of reminds me of the Outback, uh, the Outback Station. There's kookaburra sitting on top of roofs and on top of trees. So I really love that look on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side, what I decided to do is I reached for this stencil. This is a stencil, I think it's called Splat. This is by Kaiser Craft, and I have used it previously um, to make coffee themes themed projects, but somehow I, I just felt like it was right here. I reached for my sepia brown ink uh, by uh, Versafine and I love this look. I love the look of the coffee stain paper and this kind of stained look from the stencil and the ink. Uh, almost like you know you're driving in the outback and you had a bit of a coffee spill or a chucky milk spill. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I loved how it, it, it turned out. So I kind of went with it. I am grabbing this uh, silver sprig and I'm also grabbing this yellow wildflower, but I don't end up using the yellow wildflower because I don't think it goes. I do love that dry silver um, look of the sprig, so that's gonna stay. Um, and I'm just gonna adhere it down with PVA glue and just flatten it out just a little bit. I love the sign that says adventure this way. It kind of gives you a feeling like you're on the road driving and you're following signs to head out into the bush and do some exploring. So the next thing that caught my eye was this koala road sign. You see these out and about when you're driving more in the country, not really in the city, although there, there may be some in the city in areas that have wildlife in them and their reserves. So then that got me into thinking, and this was the theme for this layout. I thought, well, I think this page is trying to tell a story of someone who's driving in the outback. And so what I did was I went online and I picked up some photos of road trains and road signs that you would see if you were driving in the outback. So the first picture that I'm cutting out here is a picture of a road train. Now these are vehicles that are really long and they're carrying mainly supplies to and from uh, mining companies and mining sites. Um, these things are like a hazard. It's a whole different culture and a whole lifestyle. I mean, there are definitely truckers everywhere around the world. Here in Australia, it's just called road trains. And actually there is a, a there is a TV series that my husband watches. I think it's called Outback Truckers or Out, something like that. I'm not sure. And, um, you know, it's really interesting the life that they live and being on the road. But definitely these things are out there in the outback. And it's kind of a little bit scary when you find one right behind you or that you're coming up to one and uh, there's not a overtaking lane anywhere in the foreseeable future. Uh, I don't overtake them. Uh, they're really scary. I just wait for the uh, overtaking lanes and then it's really easy to do so. Um, otherwise, when they try to overtake you, it makes me so nervous. They're so powerful and the, the, wind, um, the wind tunnel that they create 
and the wind rush that they create as they pass you just you gotta hold that steering wheel so tight but no definitely so that's one thing if you're driving in the outback you will encounter road trains and I put that little picture on the right hand side there I mean that's what you see when you look behind you and you see a road train coming up it's just this big big bull bar late scary but anyway so I kind of struggled a little bit here I tried to um, put it there underneath the outback life but um, I realized that the kookaburra and the feathers were glued down with PVA glue so I couldn't move them any higher up so I ended up cutting it down like fussy cutting it right around and cutting some of the road off and it fit just perfectly there so that is going to go down at the bottom there I'm trying to get a few more of the road signs cut down this one here I'm gonna cut it all the way down so that it fits so that you can see what a real road sign looks like when it says you know that there's a road train coming up in this area the two signs here the one that says Australian roadside is really the same one as the one on the left hand side there so I do go ahead and ditch the one that says Australian road signs and it's on the table at the moment so it won't come back up and then basically I'm just trying to move these elements around to make it look like pleasing uh, and uh, it's really hard you know the journal is a pocket journal so it is a small one and there is not much room to put too much and that's a good thing and I have to learn to be comfortable with a white space now next to the koala and on top of the adventure this way sign there's this beautiful piece of background that I created which is the stencil and I keep trying to put something there and I keep reminding myself not to cover up my background so I am forced really to work with next to the kookaburra and underneath the adventure this way sign and I feel like I have two elements that I need to have here which is this picture here of the road train when you look through your rear view mirror and I also want that caution road train uh, not 52 meters long I want that there as a as a guide to how big these things are so I love this formation here I love how it adds to the story on the page I love how it kind of tells the story of you know, when you go adventuring beware caution uh, there are road trains out there and you know they are a bit dangerous you know not only it's not only snakes and uh, crocodiles that are gonna kill you here there's also road trains now I still feel like there's a little bit of room next to the kookaburra I don't know why I do this looking at it now it looks all right uh, if it was just left as it is but no I do have to add one more thing so this sign here that says road trains entering 300 meters so that just means that there's a mine site nearby and you're gonna have a road train coming in off a side street What I am doing is I'm adding just a thin layer of gel medium onto my pictures. Now remember these are just photocopier paper. This is ink from my printer. If I were to leave it, it would fade. And the paper itself is very thin. So I wanted to coat it and make it a little bit stronger and preserve that color. So there you go, I am much more happier with my page. I love how this layout turned out. This is an ode to outback driving and an ode to road truckers everywhere in Australia and recognizing the hard work that they do for us to get our meats and our resources and even our mail, you guys. All right, so that's it for me for this layout. I hope you come back for my next layout. I'll see you then.